Hi there, I'm Sandy Aldock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to do a little pencil accessories set review because this is a product that I have seen in Ellen's shop before, and I thought, I wonder what all that stuff is. Do I need that stuff? I don't know. Let me buy it and tell you whether, you, whether or not you need that stuff because there's two different erasers in here. There's a little sharpener. There's a uh, um, the, there's this rubber eraser as well as the kneaded eraser. There's a, a marker. I'm guessing it's a marker for blending. And this little thing on the right, I was like, what is that? I want to know what that is. And I want to know what these two pencils are that they have in here. So let's take a look at it all, right? Let's start with the sharpener. And I'm actually very pleased with this little sharpener for a couple reasons that I'll share. When you use a handheld sharpener, you want to put your pencil in and don't turn the the sharpener or your hand any more than necessary. Try to hold one or the other stable. If you want to turn the sharpener and hold the pencil still, that's great. But if you start wiggling around a lot, you're going to break the lead. So be very careful with that. And this is from a brand new pencil, so it's taken me a little time to get it sharpened. But when it's all said and done, it's going to come out really beautifully sharp. And you know how much I like a sharp pencil. I also like the size of this little sharpener because it's going to go well for travel, which is going to be perfect because especially I am traveling really soon here and I want to take my pencils with me and this is great for having on an airplane even. So just scoop that into the cup that the <laughs> flight attendant brings you. Now this little sucker I found out is the pencil extender. You can put a little short pencil in there and you can even use like a little tiny nub of a pencil and you're going to get all the use out of all that lead because now you've got an extender. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I'm going to use that a ton. So let's start coloring something. I'll just do this really quick because I want to show you the two blenders. You only saw one blender marker in there, right? Well, there's a blender pencil. And I wanted to try out the blender pencil. So I grabbed three different colors. I want to try blending a yellow into a red into a darker red. And I want to test both of the, the marker and the blending pencil to see how that works. And we're going to try it. And this was actually my first test of doing it and we're you know you're gonna see in real time or real life how how this went so i'm just kind of coloring along these and using a very light touch as i always do because if you start pressing really hard and getting really heavy coverage you often will end up with uh, really waxy texture so this is the blender pencil and i've never seen a blender pencil before and i thought let's try it and see and i was surprised look at this it actually works. It does carry along a little of the red with it, so I can pick up a little of the red and move it into the yellow. And it does a fairly nice job. And that's from somebody who likes to, the look of blending just with pencil. This leaves a little more of the texture that I like, so I have a feeling I'll use this a little bit more. And this is the blender marker that has two nibs. One is the honkin' huge, oh my gosh, giant chisel nib. And the other is this teeny tiny itty bitty little writing nib. And I'm going to try them both out and see how they work. Now this says it's an alcohol solution in here. I am guessing that could mean, I've seen some people use their colorless blender with their prism colors, but of course that wrecks your nib. And, but I'm guessing it's kind of the same solution in there most likely. I, I would not be surprised. But with this one, you're not going to wreck the nib because it seems to come off really well, whereas it does not with a Copic blender marker. So I'm trying the fat nib, and even though it's a little hard to get into those little spots, it works really well too. So just so we can see what it looks like off the paper, just colored a little bit from uh, darker down to lighter, and we'll try blending that with this marker and see how that goes. And you see it's not 100% like super blended, but I of course didn't work on it a lot, but look how easy it is to just scribble that color off and the marker is back to working fine. I'm gonna test it against the Spectrum Noir Gamsol because that's another option for blending your color pencil. Do the same thing, grab a bunch of pencil, put it on here. I think I put more pencil on there than I did otherwise. And with the Gamsol, you dip the blending stump into the Gamsol and it tends to apparently change the color a little bit. It's a little bit redder a little bit yellower, I should say, orangey. The other pencil that's in the set is a drawing slash writing pencil, and it draws nicely. I can see that being good for a sketching pencil. You can also use it for coloring as well. And I wanted to compare it to, this is not in the set, but just what is their regular black Prismacolor pencil like? 
and that's the difference between them. You get more of that Prismacolor texture with the Prismacolor pencil with this, they call it an ebony drawing pencil, you get a little less of that texture. But the blending marker works with both of those, smooshes that color right on out. Voila, voila. Now with pencil, you can also go over in a couple layers of things. So I decided to add some dark center to my flower and then use that little fine nib for making little kind of tendrils coming off of that, blend that color in a little bit. And again, you can just scribble it right off and that is brand new again, which is kind of nice. So the other things that's in there is two erasers. And this one is a brand new, oh my gosh, it feels so nice, brand new kneaded eraser. This is my old one from college. Actually, it's probably a couple of them from college mushed together. They will eventually turn gray like this and that's okay, it still works. I've been using it for 20 years and it's no big deal. But I wanna show you how you can use the kneaded eraser for blending. We'll use the other eraser too, but the kneaded eraser, if you wanna to try to get a color that's blending into white, then start your blending by coloring lighter as it gets out to the lightest area and then go over it with your kneaded eraser. And you can smoosh it into different shapes to try to target your erasers. If you want a skinny eraser, you can use just a little bit of it, but I kind of get it flattened and then rub it along here and it starts to really lighten it nicely. So you can get some really nice blends and uh, that sort of thing. I'm gonna be using this set over on my Bible journaling channel soon too, by the way. So if you wanna see the elements in this kit in terms of Bible journaling and some tips on pencil with Bible journaling, I think in another week or two, it'll be over on that channel. And I'll link you to that in the doobly doo down below if you wanna go subscribe, because I put a video out there every Sunday. This is the other eraser, which I don't use a ton, um, those kind of rubber erasers, but there you go. That's the, probably for me, the one I'll be using the least. But this is my travel pack, my little travel roll up pencil case. And all these little things fit into this little pocket. How cool is that? So I've got my little eraser, the smaller one. I've got the smaller pencil sharpener. I've got my, uh, my other erasers, my pencil extender, all kinds of little things fit into this little teeny tiny pocket. This marker is probably gonna go in my drawer for when I do coloring things rather than taking it with me. I'm guessing, just because I'm gonna use it more at home than I will on the road. But this roll up thing, it has plastic on both sides, which holds it really nicely. And then it has this little band that goes around and will snap it closed, which makes it really helpful. It's great to tuck into a carry-on bag and take on an airplane with you and you can just do some drawing while you do. Now here's some sharpeners that are not in the kit. I just wanted to show you the Prismacolor other sharpener, which now I don't have to carry with me because the other one fits into my little pack but it has two holes. So you can sharpen two different size or, or shaped uh, color pencil points. And technically you don't, it doesn't matter which one you use. They both are very sharp points and that's what matters. Some people like it longer, some people like it stubbier. I don't find it makes much of a difference whatsoever, but it sharpens really nicely and all your shavings are caught into the little container there and you can empty it really easily. That's the difference between the shape on those two. On my desk, I keep my giant Quiet Sharp, and it's pricey, but it's worth every penny of it. This little drawer comes out so you can empty shavings. It's got holes so you can use different size pencils. Did you notice how that slowed down? It didn't keep eating the pencil. It really does save you a lot of lead to have a good sharpener like this. The one on the right is the one that was sharpened by that sharpener. As I said, I'm gonna have a video soon on the Bible Journaling channel if you wanna see a comparison between some Crayola pencils and Prismacolor in Bible Journaling, as well as get some tips for that, and using some of these elements from this Prismacolor accessory set in your Bible, because there's some you can use, some you can't use. And that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Supplies are listed in the doobly-doo below, as well as over on my blog. And that's it for today. I hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.